Three thanks. Time now, 541. Time for In, In Other, other news. news. Stories to chat about when you're at the office and you want to talk to the person in the next cubicle. If you have one of those phone addicted teens, we have an idea here. Send them to Italy. That's right, okay. Italy. Cracking down on cell phone addiction by putting teens to cell phone rehab. A new bill proposing schools teach courses about the dangers of phone addiction. According to the bill, eight out of 10 teens suffer from technology addictions. By the way, we've done the work for you. If you are interested, a flight from Charlotte to Rome leaves tonight, 625. Charlotte Douglas, be there. In other, word, in other news, ever wonder why airplane food tastes so bad while yeah. you're on the way to Italy? Well, researchers say the cabin pressure affects your taste buds, making plain food taste worse than it already is. Fiji Airways has a solution. They will help you avoid airplane food by serving you before you board. It's called Dine on the Ground. Business class passengers eat their in-flight meal in a lounge shortly before takeoff. For the record, if I ever fly Fiji, you can feed me Pop-Tarts all flight long and red wine because it puts me to sleep. I won't be bothered at all. <laughs> Nor my taste buds. Yeah. In other news, fake laughter actually makes things seem funnier. Researchers from Current Biology found that we are much more likely to find something funny if others do as well. <laughs> Regardless of whether they're faking it or not. That was good, right? That was very lifelike. Believable. Very authentic. So it's like those laugh tracks, remember in sitcoms? And you laugh along with it. Kind of. Yeah, that's honestly what it is. And laughing is just fun, whether it's fake or not. Yeah. I mean, if it's really fake, then it's not fun. <laughs> like that. Okay.